Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share a little happy mail that I got from one of my subscribers. So I wanted to say thank you to her. I don't have her permission to say her name, so she knows who she is. <laughs> I wanted to thank her so much for this little little package here. Um, I was watching um, Color and Chat with Sammy and she recommended this particular set of Jane Davenport watercolors. So I wanted to give them a try. <laughs> so I'm going to get them out. I haven't even opened it yet. And it kind of looks a little hard to get out. So there we go. They're put in this little packaging quite firmly. So that's what the package looks like. It gives you a little range of the colors here and on the sides. Nice packaging. And then you get this cute little and oh this is a tiny bit <laughs> it is a nice feeling it's got little rubber feet on the bottom too so it ain't sliding anywhere that's a cool idea anyway let's um open it up oh, i see i have a little work to do here <laughs> you have a little uh, card here done on watercolor so you can make a little palette and it gives you a little information. The palette is fine watercolors, features two metallic paints and 10 glitz C hues. Use the reverse of this card to make a handy reference and hope this fine little set of paints brings you big joy. <laughs> Join me at janedavenport.com for painting tips, techniques, and art making lessons. That'll be fun cute. So there we go. Now if you look here, we have a little tin or this is going to be a little plastic tin here. This is interesting to pull those out in order here. I don't know. <laughs> there we go. So this Remove or not remove? That would remove if you really wanted it to, but it's not going to. And uh, you have a little place over here to put your mixing if you want. And then each one of these <laughs> comes with a little teeny tiny piece of paper on it. It tells you the color name and then you have plastic and a little um, plastic tray in here. I'm going to have to take these off off uh, camera because these are going to be hard for me to do. There we go. So you can save that. Let's see. I was wondering if it had a name on it. Water Spirit. I guess they all have those type of names. So usually I will take a little bit of glue or something and attach that to the bottom so I will always have the name of the paint on the little palette. So I'll show you what I'll do with that. We'll just cut that a little narrower. So we'll have a size that will fit on the bottom here. Now they will get a little wet so you want to be a little careful with what you pick up as a gluing medium. So hold on. Okay for just this I'm going to um, use this tape runner. It's got tape on it and we're just gonna run a piece of that on the bottom and then just stick that there so it will be there. <laughs> uh, I don't know if there is a... I just kind of sit in there. So I'll be doing that and then when I'm done I'll show you what it looks like and then we're going to swatch them. Okay I have them all unwrapped and back into the little case and we're just going to use a water brush. Um, this is the Pentel water brush 
and I'm going to so watch these out so I'll make sure we get a water here yeah. all right first one I should have written down the names is water spirit so it looks to be a nice olive color so that's how dark it comes out then we'll make sure we get a little extra water coming out here and blend it out a little bit that is highly pigmented <laughs> see there we go I don't have a quiet heat tool and I prefer to um, let these air dry so we're just going to paint them out and, and then we'll let them dry and see what they do uh, the next one is <laughs> just lymph so, yeah that's a green ooh that's brighter okay put that down wipe some off and get some water on there That's pretty. Next one is, these names are interesting. Nerid. <laughs> this is a bluish, purpley color. Oh, that's gorgeous. Add some water to that. Next one is Ariel. And pretty deep red. Need to get a little more water on that. Okay. The next one, I can't read this far away, so I have to uh, frolic some. Which is a nice brown, rusty tone. And then the yellow one is tresses. Oh, that is bright. Okay, then we have sea nymph. Which is a blue. You're going to get that quite light. That's pretty. Enchantress. Looks to be a green. Ooh. That is a dark green. Pretty. <laughs> I like my dark colors. Next one is Lori Lorelei. Another green. Sea mist is next. Then we have, I'm assuming the, it said something about metallic colors. I don't know, these just look a little different. So this one is 
wish they had these names somewhere else. <laughs> I didn't have to pick it up. Flirtatious. And the last one is alchemy. There we go. Get that all off my brush. They dry really nicely. They feather out really pretty. I really like that one. <laughs> There's a lot of the colors in here that are really nice. I'm trying to see if those are metallic. This one looks a little metallic-like. And then I'm going to turn the card over and see if it actually told me that they were metallic sapphire. Yeah, two metallic paints. So. This one definitely has metallic in it. I'm not sure if this one does. It's not dry enough for me to tell. So I'm going to let these dry for a little bit and then I will be right back. Okay guys, they're all dry and this is what they look like. Absolutely gorgeous colors. These two are our metallics. I don't know if I can get you to see the shine in them, but it's not, um, you know, it's not like a silverly, silver glitter in it. It's just a tiny shimmer, I'd say. More of a shimmer. Barely noticeable. I mean, you'll see it, but I don't know if it'll pick it up on the camera as much as what I see. It's a really pretty uh, kind of a rose gold color, and this is kind of an ochre color, so that is nice. You can't see the shimmer as much in this one as you can in this one. And the rest of them are nice and flat and absolutely gorgeous. Now, it doesn't take much um, water to get that dark color. You have to add water to it to get it to lighten out, which I would do more or less in the tin here because uh, you don't want to put that much water in your coloring books. It'll really warp the page. So you just take the color... We'll do it. Um, let's see. I can do it on the back here. So we'll take this color, and it's really dark, and just add your water here. Get it as light as you want, and then pick that up, and you can use that instead of doing it straight from here and getting it that dark. And trying to add water to this. I mean, it can go forever to get it light, but in a coloring book, you, you, you don't want to do that part. <laughs> so I would just take it over here and get it to the color you want and use it that way. Just so you wouldn't warp your pages or let it bleed through. It won't bleed through this. This is heavy um, watercolor paper but our coloring books are not well some of them are but some of them aren't so yeah i really really like this set i think i'll pick up the neutral set too it has more um ochre browns and light pinks and stuff in it some blues that are real light you know neutrals <laughs> plain and not in your face for um, some of the coloring books that I have. I really like these greens though. These two really look pretty similar. This one's got a deeper tone to it. Uh, just maybe because I put more of it there. But those will be interchangeable. Such a pretty set though. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And yeah, I'll have to get these out and uh, try them in a color book soon. So thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care, everyone. <laughs> Bye now.